Hello YouTube, my name is Apple Khan here. Today I'll be doing my full review of iOS 9 Gold Master. This was released to developers on the September 9th keynote Apple held this year in 2015. It'll be released to the public on September 16th. So, before you guys download it, you can see this full review on all the new features Apple has packed into iOS 9 this release. So without any further ado, let's get into this video. One of the newest features was making Siri a proactive assistant. And one of the ways this works is that you can ask Siri, remind me about this in the messages app if someone sends you, for example, a meeting you have to attend later that day or some other day. Another feature Apple added, which should have been in iOS a long time ago, was being able to tell if your keyboard is in caps or not. Another thing that Apple has done was make Spotlight a lot smarter. For example, Siri can suggest you contacts or apps, including restaurants, places to get coffee, shopping places, or where you can get gas in nearby locations. Siri also shows you news in Spotlight this way. If you drag down, you can go to the typing menu. Spotlight also has an option for voice dictation. For example, if I say, Apple Inc. It shows the results for my search query in Spotlight just like that, similar to iOS 8 except now with voice. Perhaps in WWDC 2015, one of the most revamped apps was the Notes app. It now allows you to see any kind of media you have attached to your notes by pressing the icon with the four squares. And now you can see any kind of photos and videos or any kind of other attachments you have in your notes. If you start typing in a new note, you can see a plus sign that has four options, one of which is a text formatting option, similar to a word processor. It can change title, heading, body, it can add bullets, dashes, etc. Notes can now make lists and allows you to check off items you have already completed. This somehow, in a way, mimics the Reminders app in iOS. Another option is adding photos or video to your notes. You can now also add drawings to your notes, which I think mimics the Surface Pro 3 in some way. You can uh, write with a pencil, highlighter, pen, etc. You could even add a ruler to measure what you're doing. There's an eraser option in case you want to delete something you put on. And you can also change the colors that you're using in this uh, drawing portion of the Notes app. What I think is a pretty smart feature of iOS 9 is that when you plug in your headphones and if your device is locked, it automatically turns on and displays a music app icon on your lock screen where normally a handoff icon would be. Then you can swipe up on that icon and open the music app. In settings, you can now search for a specific setting and there's a new setting called low power mode. Now, this, I guess, is something since the battery in the iPhone is not exactly the best in the industry, but it truly does help the battery. You can increase it by a whole three hours, and for older devices, this can make a huge difference. Dynamic wallpapers have stayed the same, except I think in the success there will be new dynamics since the presentation showed a dynamic koi fish wallpaper for the success. And there's some new still wallpapers in iOS 9, some of them look pretty cool, but three of them that look like color explosions specifically look like they may utilize the live photos feature in the iPhone success. This new update has also changed the font of iOS 9 to the San Francisco Apple font that Apple uses on the watch OS. Multitask has also changed its look completely to look like a deck of cards, except this time you can't swipe three apps at a time, you can only do two apps at a time. Recently deleted does not display the folders that you've deleted anymore, and there's also a new folder for screenshots, and yet another folder for selfies that you've taken. 
Apple now ha also has its own news app, which has a setup process very similar to Apple Music. You select the kinds of genres of news you like, you select the news stations you like, it makes news that you specifically would care about, and it shows that in the For You section. You can also share news with others, and you can also favorite news, which is similar to the favorites option in the Photos app. Along with that, you can bookmark news to see later. Find my iPhone and find friends is no longer deletable. So there's now two more apps that will be taking up storage on your 16 GB iPhone and you can never delete them. A good feature of iOS 9 is that it does no longer take 4.58 gigabytes that last year's iOS 8 took to update. And we can all remember the dilemma we faced last year trying to upgrade from iOS 7. Yeah, it's a lot better now. Devices that are supported include iPhone 4S and above, iPad 2 and above, and iPod 5 and above. A feature that the iPad has in iOS 9 is picture in picture and split view mode. Again, mimicking Surface Pro 3. All in all, iOS 9 is a great step up from iOS 8. There's a great performance in this, there's no slowdown, no lag, and it feels great to use because this is a great operating system. Thanks for watching, please subscribe for more content like this surrounding technology and Apple devices. Like this video to show some support, and please share this to let others know what you're getting when you upgrade to iOS 9 when it does come around on September 16th.